clowns, Tiny Tim, cats jumping out of drawers randomly, a murder plot perhaps. I'm in. I'm in. Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I am going to talk about the 1986 film Blood Harvest, which stars Tiny Tim, which I was very excited about because I'm a big fan of his music. His personal life is, um, it's definitely something, but we're not going to talk about that today. I found this streaming on the Tubi app if you're interested in also watching it. It starts out with Jill, our main character, who is coming home from college to see her parents. And there's definitely some unrest uh, involving the whole community and her parents as a lot of the farmers are losing their land and getting foreclosed upon. And um, that's kind of like all her parents doing. Not necessarily that they maliciously just want to ruin every farmer's life, but it's, it's business, babe. You gotta do what you gotta do. So she comes home and unfortunately her childhood home is vandalized and there's some very nasty words written in red paint on the outside. She finds a dummy hanging from a noose when she walks in. So she's very unsettled. She cannot find any trace of her parents, which is very, very strange. And she gets visited by the marvelous Mervo, played by Tiny Tim, who is a a uh, somewhat um, creepy looking clown childhood performer who knows childhood performer performer for children I would assume because that's typically what clowns do but he just seems real off and then we get to meet Mervo's brother Gary who is like obviously just carrying a torch for Jill. They were very close when they were kids and then things just kind of fizzled out when she went away to college. There was a scene where she talked about her dad like walking in on them and which is awkward. And Jill is engaged and she's expecting her fiance to also be visiting I think to probably meet the parents and uh, says several times like hey sorry dude like oh, like too late sorry. And he's just, like, not super receptive to that and just gives off kind of a creepy, creepy vibe. Uh, numerous things just keep happening to Jill that startle her and startle us because we're also watching it unfold. And there's something weird about the barn on her property. Mervo's kind of, like, stalking around there, peeking out between the... The barn doors at her and we know something's definitely going on because in the opening of the film we do see some people get dispatched so it's kind of watching the whole thing unfold the police are incredibly unhelpful to her and they're kind of just like yeah I um I have golf coming up so dude don't don't call me I'll call you like that's great so Weird, weird things, um, some abductions, some, some creepy, um, unsolicited advances, and I will just leave it off there. What did I like about this movie? There is a lot of, uh, songs that Tiny Tim does perform, so I was super stoked to hear that. I think at this point in his personal life, things were just kind of steadily going downhill, so it is kind of bittersweet to see him in this role because, you know, things aren't great and he's struggling and just, you know, it's hard to set the character away from the actor at that point. Just like I've watched a lot of documentaries about Tiny Tim and, you know, I, I did have a lot of empathy for him. Um, always nice to hear that little ukulele and his falsetto. The practical effects aren't terrible they're 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 trying you know it's not the most high budget film so I kind of knew what I was in for with that um uh, it's one of those 80 movies 80s movies that you're like oh what a twist but like is it really you'll have to watch let me know what you think I uh I don't have a whole lot of other likes so I'll just go into my dislikes the pacing wasn't great um, I feel like the acting 
wasn't super great either. Some of it seemed kind of wooden and like forced or that they were reading cue cards off to the side of the screen. But again, these aren't, you know, super seasoned, well-known actors. So I, I feel like that should give them a little bit of a pass. And it is the 80s, so it does kind of fit that aesthetic 80s weird delivery of lines, I guess. Um, I just, I feel like some of the way that the movie played out wasn't super believable. I don't think, like, I understand that the whole town is kind of against this family right now. So maybe that's why the police aren't super invested in helping her. But I feel as though if it's a missing person situation, maybe they take it more seriously, or maybe even Jill herself would take it a little more seriously. There's a part where her fiance comes over and they just engage in some things right in the living room that like, you're in your parents' house, my dude. Even if they're not there, they could come back. You want them to come back. You want them to come back that like, that. come on now. <laughs> I feel like she wasn't as upset as like say I would be if I came home from school and my whole family was gone and there was just like terrible things happening all around me. She seems like oddly calm about it, which was strange, but I guess everyone deals with things their own way. Maybe. I don't know. Very odd. Um, let's see. What would I rate this? Probably I'd give it like a 1.5 out of 5. It was a fun watch. I don't know that I would really watch it again, but having the experience was great. Um, yeah, I mean, Tiny Tim is so creepy in this role. And I know that his character was definitely supposed to be kind of a creep that you're just kind of side-eyeing the whole movie. Like, but is it him? Because he's like really selling this like just unsavory character bit a little too well that that was that was decent I don't know that he's really done too much acting in his career up to that point so good try I liked your songs you were great uh as I said you can find this streaming on Tubi Tubi is one of those apps that you know, we'll play the film for a certain amount of time and then have little commercial ad breaks. This is what keeps the app free, which is great because I like to get up and get drinks and look around to find a cat to bring back with me to force to watch the movie or what have you, you know, ADD, you walk into the kitchen for one thing, you see that there's dishes and then you bring the dish over there and then you see that there's something over here. So then you want to do that, but then you go in the room and there's laundry. So you grab the laundry and you go, you know, you know, Typical ADD things, just ADD things. But um, have you seen this movie? Let me know your thoughts of this movie. Leave me a comment down below. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Uh, like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you're a fan of uh, ukuleles. They're very fun, they're very cute. I have a lot of friends that play them. A lot of my family play them. So that's always a, a joy to hear. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Ray Animator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and now TikTok at Ray Animator. You can find my reviews in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. And please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I'm just going to tiptoe my way out of here. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,